Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to properly search for email or emails using Outlook VBA. So a lot of people think that searching for email using Outlook VBA is pretty easy. They can basically uh, iterate each email one by one. And if an email or field or component match to your criteria, you can either print the information or you can store the email object somewhere in your system. But that's not the right way to do it. And imagine you have like 10,000 emails that in your inbox account, are you going to iterate all those 10,000 emails one by one? In real story, I've seen people with um, their inbox with maybe almost like 100,000 emails and sometimes maybe even more. And I just can't imagine that uh, when you search for email, you have to iterate each email one by one and look for the emails that match to your criteria. So, but anyway, let's get started. Let's open the VBA window first. And let me insert a new module. So here I have three uh, documentations page that I want to share with you guys. And we'll be using uh, all these three uh, documentation page. And so the first uh, documentation I want to share is, uh, let's see, so, and in Outlook, so these days, um, all the emails are actually stored on the Outlook uh, email server. And so here uh, you want, so here on this page, and so it's called Exchange Store Reference uh, Object, so Object Method. So it's a reference uh, item. And in Outlook, there's different schemas. So let's take a look. So if you go to, uh, if, if you search for Exchange Store Reference, ex change store reference and this should be the first one uh, display on your result and choose that now uh, let's see so you want to expand the exchange store schema and I'll go over the other uh, exchange store uh, type later like the exchange store SQL but for now we're going to learn how the uh, Microsoft Outlook exchange store schema work so here you want to uh, see expand the properties by namespace, and here you have different uh, URL that link to uh, different schemas. So here you have this uh, link is uh, is the server address to the events uh, schema, and for the uh, emails. So let's take a look. It should be on the this one is office uh, namespace and form. So let me take a look. So like I say, it's a pretty relative complex uh, subject. And right here, so here you want to look for uh, HTTP mail and click on that. This exchange server basically store all your emails uh, under the name, this name schema. So within the uh, HTTP mail schema, and or namespace, if you want to call it, you have different uh, fields. So, and all these fields will be the field that you can use to search for your email. In this exercise, I'm going to search my emails using the uh, the email subject. So let me scroll down, and here's the subject field. And also, I want to search uh, via the uh, the email body. So for the email body, the field is not actually called body. The field is actually called text uh, description. So you'll be using the text description field to search for uh, any keyword or any criteria that match to your email uh, message body. Now that's for the uh, store exchange information. And I'll go over the, the other two uh, documentation later uh, once we uh, get to a point where we need to reference different fields. So here uh, I already created a new module and I'm going to create a subroutine. I'm going to call this subroutine search uh, emails. To start, I'm going to create my objects and variables. So here I have a namespace. Since I'm going to search emails in my inbox folder, so here I'm going to create uh, an inbox folder object. So I'm going to call this uh, folder inbox plus MAPI folder.
And next, I'm going to create a variable called filtered item, items. This item. It's just items, not item. And this, I'm also going to create an object called OL item. So stand for Outlook item. as mail item. Actually, I'm going to name this. I'm going to just name this as uh, Outlook mail. So that'll be easier to uh, to identify. And lastly, I need, uh, this is going to be a last variable, and this is going to be a string that we're going to uh, store the filter condition. So string filter a string. And first, we need to create a namespace to connect to our uh, Outlook account. So get namespace method, and we're going to use the MAPI uh, email service type. And next, I'm going to create my uh, folder inbox object. Get default folder. And so here you want to choose the folder that you want to search your uh, item. So I want to search for email. So I'm going to choose OL folder inbox. But if I want to search for other type of um, stuff like uh, contacts or calendar items, or delete uh, items from your trash can, then you can choose different uh, outlook for the uh, type. But in this case, I'm going to choose uh, OL for the inbox. Oops. And here I'm going to name uh, a stop called empty objects. Just in case, uh, if if there's no uh reason just in case if there's no um result coming back then i can go straight to this uh, empty object line right here All right now let me go back to the documentation and so here we need to grab the the schema uh, url link so let me click on the namespace let me let me see uh so right here so here's the schema name and copy so copy this uh, schema name and let's go back and we're going to uh, create our filter uh, string so string filter is e uh, is equals to use the the add symbol sql equals to and here we want to uh, paste the the schema URL and let me just double check it's TPTP mail and colon and text description okay so that'll be for the uh, email body but I'm going to start with uh, the email subject I think that'll be an easier uh, criteria or easier field to search for email so here I'm going to comment this line first and so here I'm going to change my field from text description to subject and so like like the this uh, syntax mentioned that what we'll be using uh, kind of like a simple SQL syntax and so if you have used SQL then this will be easy for you but if you have never used SQL before uh, then this is going to be a little bit uh, challenging for you to grasp but here let me do this so if you go to uh, the let's see the mail item um, documentation and so you want to so let's see it should, should be items oh okay sorry should be uh, items dot restrict method yeah i'll post the link in the uh, video description but basically you want to come to um, this page and so uh, if you scroll down to the documentation they have different examples so you can go to uh, all these examples and here they use a different schema so uh, before I sent you know, earlier day and our looks using some some sort of unit identifier uh, numbers to identify different fields but now we can basically write the, the field name and but yeah so here uh, they give you different examples and so you can go to uh, the information 
and one by one and to see how we can apply or create different filter conditions. But now let's continue. So here I want to search for using the subject field. And let's say I want to use a wildcard. I want to do a wildcard search. And if the email name contains, let's see, if, if the email name contain or oh, subject, sorry, if the email subject contains the word developer, then I want to print the email information. So here, let me just grab the developer uh, text. So here, our query will be subject like uh, developer. And since we are using the wildcard search, so I'm going to insert a single quotation and followed by the uh, percentage, followed by the percentage symbol on both end. So that just means I'm doing a wildcard search and a single quotation afterward. And this is going to be my, uh, my uh, filter query. And next, I'm going to create my filter item, filtered items uh, object. So we want to set filtered items is equals to from the uh, folder inbox object items. And we want to use the restrict uh, method. So here we have, so here you can see that the parameter is filter, a string, and it's uh, asking for a, for a text that contains your uh, filter query. Now I want to pass the string filter variable. And next we need to, so here I'm going to do a uh, create an if condition. So if filtered, filtered items that counts is equal to zero, then I know that uh, there's no emails matched to my query, which is uh, this uh, filter condition right here. Then I can basically go to the empty objects line and to empty out my objects. Otherwise, I can uh, iterate each emails and from the uh, from this uh, filtered item object. I'm going to. I can print. Um, or I can basically do anything I want with the emails that match the criteria. So for each uh, outlook item. Uh, in filtered items, filtered items. No, sorry, sorry. Filtered items. Here we can uh, print the email information. So I'm going to use debug dot print, and from the ol item, it should should be ol mail not items, ol mail. We can print different field information. So here, let me go back to documentation. Here, I want to show you what fields are available for you to retrieve or uh, or query diff or query the uh, the email information. So here, you can based on the the properties, you can query uh, attachment. So that means you can download the attachments to your to your computer, or you can query the BCC uh, emails if there's uh, any, and so here you have the body formats, category, and so on. There are quite many, and you can go to each fields one by one, and just take a look at which one fits your need. But in this case, I'm going to grab just the the email subject and the let's see and the sender email address. So here let me go back. So here I want to print the email subject as well as the uh, sender's email address and just these two fields. Now this is basically uh, everything for the VBA script. Now if, let me put a stop right here. So here from my query and I know like there are emails matched to this criteria where the subject uh, contains the word developer. Now if I just press F5 to run the, the subroutine, oops, here's a typo. And let me try again. So if I press F5, and so here, uh, it's going to stop right here. And I'm going to execute uh, line by line so you know what's going on. So if I press F8, and I'll go to the next line. So here, if I hover my mouse, you can see that, uh, so here, let me do this. 
let me go to view I should go to debug and let's see should not debug so let me go to view I'm going to open the local window and the local window is going to show you all the variables of values so here let me put that right so, uh, sorry let me just make this a little bigger and so here I'll decrease my uh, filtered item object so here let me expand the filter items uh, object and sorry the text is a little bit small but I can um, unfortunately I can't increase the font size but here the local windows these are all the items that are available under this filtered items object and you can see that from uh, the filtered item uh, object we have 32 items so that means uh, from this query right here we found 32 emails that are uh, matched to my my query and if I expand the item so this is a live information it's trying to retrieve the template information from the email so let me, okay and so here I, mean, I know it's a little bit overwhelming but here are all the uh, information that associated to the item so if you uh, if you scroll down so here it lists out uh, basically the output for you already so you don't have to go to a documentation if you don't want to you can look at the local window to see oops sorry you can look at the local windows to see what means you need so here if I uh, scroll down to the subject and here's the value that linked to the, the subject field so your developer edition and the remaining text got cut off oh so your developer edition login information is the subject name and so here uh, if I'm going to uh, let me display the immediate window real quick and if I just press F5 to finish the remaining of the, the script and here is all the information that print out uh, from this uh, iteration right here now if I need to search um, maybe a keyword from my email body so here let me clear out everything I'm going to comment out this line right here and I'm going to uh, com uncomment this line and to search for uh, based on your email body you just need to change the, the field uh, name so from subject to text description and here I'm going to use the, the like uh, operator followed by the percentage symbol and here I want to search for maybe based on a keyword that I know uh, let's do so let's do let's do enjoy so platform enjoy and this should be only one email that uh, match to my criteria so here if the, uh, the email body uh, is um, contains the the keyword platform column enjoy and followed by the percentage symbol and single quotation and I want to print the email information so if I uh, this time I'm going to remove the stop and I'm going to press F5 to just run the script by itself and here it found uh, one email so the email body is called the email subject is called Microsoft account unusual uh, sign activity and here's the sender's email address so that's everything I'll post the VBS script and the documentation page and I'll link the website in the video description feel free to leave a comment if you have any question but this is everything I have to show you guys in this video and as always thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys on the next video